when you created Nike and you quit your job it was being able to leave a legacy for yourself behind and you've done it like no one else did India's first uh, women led unicorn Nike made a blockbuster debut on the Lal Street today up over 90% on the first day of trade if beauty sells so much in the west and the east why should India not uh, be equally enthusiastic about beauty product consumption Reliance Retail has launched Tira, an omni-channel beauty retail platform. And with Tira, I think we're taking forward the concept of for every you, for just embracing every single human being, every person is special. Every day, millions of Indians reach for their favorite beauty and personal care products. But have you ever wondered how much this daily ritual is worth? Spoiler alert, it's a multi-billion dollar industry. Join us as we explore the rise of beauty giants like Nike and the fierce competition from newcomers like Reliance's Tira. India's beauty and personal care market is projected to grow at a fast pace of 10% CAGR, reaching $30 billion by 2027, accounting for about 5% of the global market, according to a report by Red Sea Strategy Consultants. Globally, there is a growing need among consumers for products tailored to individual skin or body types. They are increasingly willing to pay a premium for effective and safe solutions, leading to rapid growth in the mastige and premium categories. Brands focused solely on beauty and personal care have disrupted the market by targeting specific use cases leading to higher growth rates, cross margins and profitability compared to FMCG-led BPC brands. They are growing twice as fast compared to those brands, highlighting the significance of specialized beauty and personal care products. A little more than a decade ago, finding premium beauty brands in smaller cities and towns of India was next to impossible. Back then, if you were looking for the right moisturizer for your skin or the perfect shade of foundation, you had to compare stores, explain exactly what you were looking for and spend hours searching for the perfect product. Today, you can access a plethora of products at your fingertips, whether you are in a high-rise building in Bengaluru or ordering from a city like Nashik. This gap was identified by Falguni Nair about 12 years ago. In 2012, she left her well-paying job as a managing director of the investment banking division of Kotec Mahindra Capital and started Nika at the age of 50 with $2 million of her own savings. By 2021, Nika's valuation had increased to $2.3 billion and by 2023, her net worth had risen to $2.6 billion. Nair is one of the very few self-made female billionaires in India. Nika, a marketplace for the rapidly growing beauty and personal care segment in India, made such a splash that it even caught the eyes of Reliance, leading to the launch of its own beauty marketplace, Tira, by Isa Ambani in 2023. While Reliance might be about a decade late, its disruptive potential in new markets is very well known. Reliance is synonymous with disruption in consumer industries. From making calling affordable with Reliance Telecom to skyrocketing India's internet adoption with Jio, Reliance has always been known as the company which enters late but eventually ends up winning the market. But first, let's take a look at Nika's story. Nika was established in 2012 by Falguni Nair in response to the gaps he saw in the Indian market for cosmetics. With just three workers and little experience in retail, beauty or IT sector, Nika's start was very humble. The business completed about 60 orders in its first few days, steadfast in its belief that quality should come before quantity. Initially an online platform, over the years Nika adopted an omnichannel approach, expanding to over 150 stores nationwide by 2024. Nika's strength lies in its extensive portfolio of brands, catering to a wide range of consumer preferences and budgets. From luxury international brands to homegrown favorites, Nika ensures no customer leaves empty-handed. Its commitment to quality and authenticity has won the trust and loyalty of millions of users. The company also owns its own 13 beauty brands including K-Beauty, Dot & Key and Nika Cosmetics. Nika's own labels contributed approximately 12% to their BPC GMV in financial year 23, giving them superior margins. This strategy is similar to how large marketplaces like Swiggy have created their own labels. For example, Homely, The Breakfast Express and The Bowl Company for better margins. Nika's user-friendly websites and mobile apps provide a seamless shopping experience with personalized recommendations and features like virtual try-on, comparable to prominent e-commerce platforms like Mintra and Amazon. Its robust social media presence keeps customers informed and entertained, 
fostering a sense of community among beauty enthusiasts. Let's move our focus to Tira and see what they are doing to dethrone Nike. Reliance Retail launched Tira as an e-commerce platform in February 2023 with an app, a website and a 4,300 square feet store at Geo World Drive in Mumbai. Tira's omnichannel beauty retail platform is not just about selling products, it's about redefining the way individuals perceive and experience beauty. Tira Beauty emerged with a mission to celebrate diversity and self-expression. Engaging marketing strategies like hashtag for every you campaign featuring celebrities like Kiara Adwani and Karina Kapoor Khan worked well in their favor. Collaborating with popular content creators such as Sanjana Batra and The Mermaid Scales, they added authenticity and extended their reach. Tira Beauty Store is revolutionizing offline shopping with innovative technologies. Upon entering, you are greeted by the beauty vending machine where you can easily pick and collect product samples by registering and entering an OTP. Further, the AI-powered fragrance finder catches your eye, recommending you perfumes based on your selected fragrance note. The smart mirrors invite you to try on makeup in various lighting conditions, ensuring your look is perfect for every setting. Nearby, the Dyson Hair Station offers quick blowouts for professionals needing a fresh hairstyle before an evening out. As you near the billing counter, the gift customization station awaits, allowing you to personalize purchases with engraved initials, names or messages, turning a shopping store into a full-blown experiential center. Tira's strategy also involves leveraging Reliance's financial strength to offer deep discounts and gain market share. An e-commerce analyst explained, by providing these discounts, they are gradually diminishing the competitive advantage of their rivals. This approach is sustainable for Reliance as they can endure losses for an extended period of time. In 2022, Reliance Retail acquired Insight Cosmetics, gaining access to 12,000 stores across 20 states and marking its entry into the beauty and personal care segment, setting the stage for Tira to have offline distribution that Nike can only dream about. Reliance continues to play the game it does best, acquisition and partnerships. By November 2023, Reliance expanded further by acquiring Sephora India from Irving Fashion. They also partnered with global fashion giants like Burberry, Armani and Versace, demonstrating strong global brand recognition. All of this could eventually play to the strengths of Tira. But can Nike really be defeated? As Nike and Tira compete for dominant market share, Consumers tend to benefit from increased competition, innovation, and choice. Nike's first mover advantage and loyal customer base provide a strong foundation. But Tira's financial backing and ambitious expansion plans make it a formidable competitor. Nike's success in the Indian e-commerce market stems from its strategic inventory-based model, ensuring product authenticity and quality. The brand's omnichannel approach, combining online and physical stores, enhances customer satisfaction. Focusing on beauty and wellness, Nike offered unique in-house brands like Nike Cosmetics. Innovative technology features personalized the shopping experience, while content marketing and collaborations with over 3,000 influencers created engaging content. Active social media engagement further boosted customer loyalty, solidifying Nike's position as a leading beauty and wellness retailer in India. Tira's success hinges on its ability to differentiate through technology, luxury offerings, and exclusive brand partnerships. Leveraging Reliance's extensive resources, Tira aims to attract customers seeking premium products and personalized experiences, both online and offline. Tira's vision is to be the leading beauty destination for accessible yet aspirational beauty, which highlights its commitment to inclusivity and ambition, potentially resonating with a broader audience. In contrast, Nike's vision brings inspiration and joy to people everywhere, every day focuses on product curation and customer delight, while Nike's superior customer experience and swift delivery times help it stay ahead, Reliance's large-scale operations could soon match these services. Tira, learning from Nike's playbook, is accelerating its content strategy and leveraging user-generated content. As Reliance enters the market with its history of disruption, it will be fascinating to see how Nike holds its ground. The competition promises to be thrilling with consumers reaping the ultimate rewards. And this brings us to the end of this episode of Scale by iTribe. Who do you support in the beauty and personal care industry? Share your views in the comments below. Don't forget to like, share and subscribe. And stay tuned for the next episode. Happy shopping.